Tarkov cheaters. Apparently, half of this video is just an interview. We're going to watch the first half of it, okay? Of the, the thing about the cheating. Here we go. Let's watch this. Hey there, buds. Some people claim that there's a cheater in every single lobby, and others declare they've never been killed by a cheater. The truth is most likely somewhere in the middle. Yeah. But how can you know? If the game developer knew, they'd ban them. And if a game- Well, if the game developer knew, they'd have to spend money to ban them, and that's why they don't get banned, at least with WoW. The game doesn't have Star. a replay system, which Escape from Tarkov does not have. And PUBG. How does a player know how bad it is? So I came up with a plan to answer this question once and for all. Okay. The plan, number one, we will find a cheater. This should not be difficult. This is Escape sure. from Tarkov we're talking about here. Number Got two, it. we will spectate said cheater and we will observe their gameplay using their ESP. Number three, mm -hmm. we will find a cheater overlord and we will destroy them. Well, Fuck them. Tiger. We got a little overzealous there. Like Number that. three, we will figure out how many cheaters there are in every Tarkov raid using the cheater's ESP knowledge. Okay, got it. Let's go do it. Before we get into the footage, I want to throw this disclaimer in here. And I'm not being hyperbolic when I say that if you watch this video, it will change the way you look at first person shooters especially games like Escape No, it will not for me. Uh, PUBG added in the replay feature for whenever somebody shot you, and that already happened. Whenever I saw somebody walking over a fucking hill, and then I went within a 50 meter radius of them, and then they pointed over to my character while my character was behind a fucking hill, the second my head pops up over the hill, they go whack-a-mole, and I'm fucking dead. I don't even know what happened. Yeah, I've already had this happen, so this isn't going to be shattering any delusions for me. Tarkov forever. If you enjoy playing Escape from Tarkov and you're having a great time, keep playing the game. Turn and this video it may off. not be a bad idea yeah. just to not watch this video. But yeah. if you're frustrated with the cheating situation and you want to know how bad it is, uh -huh. this is the video for you. The game developers are most likely going to copyright strike and try to take down this video. If that occurs, I have a video ready to go. It doesn't contain any game footage and I will put it up immediately. And if this video is still up on YouTube, you can try to make a copy of it and download it. Um, I'm not gonna go into details there. I'm sure okay. you know how to use Google. Now back to the video. Step one, we need to find a cheater. This was not hard. How to cheat Just look at these metrics. There are over a thousand people online right now. <laughs> oh my God. And look at this guy, Colonel Smoothbrain. Yeah, I fucking bet cheating in a video game, you pussy bitch. Are you kidding me? on this discord and you don't even need oh, to be easy. in the yeah. discord to get the cheats they have sales and check out this in early february they had four thousand concurrent users connecting to the servers at one time oh my god and this is just one cheat developer of many and while there are plenty of cheaters in these discords i need to find someone that i actually That's 4k trust. concurrence Do you remember evoker he was the cheater i interviewed and shadowed in my video messy truth about hacking in video games uh -huh. he I has some pretty that. fancy cheats that would be very useful to collect the information i needed and even though I vowed to keep him anonymous, he knew that the cheat devs could figure out if he was the one who leaked the footage. Evoker was more worried about getting caught by the cheat developer than the game developer. Let that sink in. The cheat developers are more careful and restrictive with their software than the game developer. Evoker was out. Well, yeah, because he's making money with them. So I took matters into my sense. own hands and installed some cheats. And five minutes later, I was a real hacker. Okay. Oh shit. That was easy. But before we go on this cheater catching mm -hmm. rampage, we need to set some ground rules. Okay. Number one, ground rule fresh one. account. I'm not playing on my main account. Number two, got it. No killing PMCs, even if I think they're cheating. Number three, what's a PMC? Is that just somebody playing the game? That's what I'm guessing. A player. Okay, yeah. No transferring of loot, no boosting, and no playing with anyone else. All right, got it. And number four, after a few days of testing, reset the account. So this is the start of a normal match in Escape from Tarkov. Mm -hmm. It's a night raid, so it's harder to spot players. Yeah. Unless you flip on ESP, you can see the oh, players love- he's right there. He's right fucking there. We got him. Kill to death ratio, their distance, Damn. what gun they have out, how much ammo they have, their hitbox or skeleton, yeah, yeah, everything yeah. with this cheat. And this isn't even a really good one. In addition to that, you have radar down in the bottom right hand corner. Oh, it shows that's everything, helpful. including the AI bots. This is going to be really nice when we're seeing if another player is tracking us through walls. Uh -huh. Because you can see what direction they're looking with the little arrows. I oh. 
So he's using the cheaters to find that he's using the cheats to find the cheaters. So what he's doing is he's saying, okay, if this player, because you can detect their movements, and if their movements are indicative of cheating, then there you fucking go. Witness a player with a high KD drop someone on the way in. He used Plan the cheats to, creep to up destroy and just see the what cheats. He does. And while I creep up, this other player surprises me. Yes. Even with ESP and radar, you can still get surprised. I follow my rule and let the PMC kill me. I can't tell you how many raids this happened uh -oh. Uh -oh. in. Was the guy cheating? I have no evidence whatsoever. As far as I can uh -oh. tell, this your ass. a normal raid. That's a dead ass, yep. In this next raid, I decided to investigate this big team fight that was going down. A few players had already died. That's what that white mm -hmm. default inventory text is. I gave them several opportunities to get spooked. I even jumped up in this tree to really test them. Mm -hmm. And nothing. A player scab rolled up and I decided to have a little fun. And yeah, I'm using a voice changer. On the first day of testing, I actually thought I was going to come back to Tarkov. And I didn't want to get recognized in game. More on that later. Don't shoot. Don't shoot, okay? Wait, cool? Come over to the tree. Come over to the tree. Yeah, I see you. Okay. I see you. Yeah, there's two. There's two. Okay. It's painfully clear that these two chads are legit. How refreshing. Whoa, 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 don't shoot! I'm sure we they'll get killed soon. Action and we go our separate ways. I saw you uh, looting. You guys were standing still. I could have popped you in the head. I I, I made a pack now to kill PMCs. I'm kind of doing a quest. Okay. So you guys don't want to loot Crack House, right? You guys can just pass through. How about that? Is there a okay, place I'm called gonna Crack go through House? The big wall. Hey, just, hey, no, don't flank me. Just leave me alone. <laughs> a player scab? Why are you teaming up with a player scab? Listen, man. I'm not telling you what to do with your life. <laughs> I thought... Maybe things aren't that bad. Yeah. However, I didn't really have a solid plan to determine if someone was cheating or not. Uh huh. How can you know? I load into a night raid and I look around the map and I decide. I think it's pretty easy to tell. I actually, I think that if you look at how somebody is playing, especially over multiple games, like if you only have one frame of reference, then yeah, it's hard to say. But if you have multiple frames of reference, you can figure it out. Yeah, that's thunder in the background to check out this low level high kd player i roll up glance down at the radar mm -hmm. and he locks onto my position he see that down is this my first cheater did i find one no he's literally just afk oh raid after raid nothing it honestly was pretty boring but then i discovered a secret weapon the wiggle and the wiggle was all i needed what I can't believe it. Two legit players showed up, and I watched the cheater destroy them. I went to the roof to see what he would do, and he was stuck in a healing animation. I'm like spazzing out right now. Oh, like, can you use your gun? Even cheaters can get Tarkov'd. No. Another player rolled up, and I died to him. And okay. if you question if that wiggle was completely random, he sent me a message in game after the fact. Cheaters change their names all the time. The next day, he had already changed his. What's so brilliant about the wiggle is that it shows... Oh, so he's changing his name back and forth so people don't know how to... Yeah, that's smart. It's the other hacker that I cheat. If they respond to it by wiggling back, it confirms that they have ESP. And that's what I wanted. I wanted them to show their hand. In the hacking community, a wiggle is a form of a truce, a peace offering, armed with this... So it's like a secret... Okay, so the idea is that cheaters don't kill cheaters because they're on the same side. It's like... It's like saying, Hail Hydra. They're like, oh, okay. Okay, we're good. It's a secret handshake, something like that. New information, I went back into Raid to track down another cheater. The ESP tells you who is on a team, and here we have Team 1 and Team 2. And I figured I could find out if the winner was legit or not. Okay. Team 1 gets third party, but handles the threat quickly. Kill them. The Team 2 guys, look how much they, they backed off. They're not even fighting over their friends' bodies anymore. They're I just wonder why. sitting in the gas station. What are they doing? It's so bizarre. You see that happen. You've seen it happen a few times, right? That's why for the channel, That's Kel crazy. Kel you're hearing. She plays Tarkov as well. We speculated it was possible that both teams might have someone who's not legit. Uh huh. When the ESP turns oh. red, it means there is a direct line of sight to the target. I tested Team 1 several times, and this guy's not watching his ESP if he is hacking. I was pretty confident they're not cheating. I needed to stay close to keep the pressure on. 
they can't jump this wall right here and kill me if they. I was gonna say you get so close up in this stuff. Loses another player in the fight, and the last man surviving heads to the extract, the which was a wise move. The dust settles, and I try the wiggle. Oh, he's he's, he's wiggling. Look. Oh. <gasps> See that? Yep. Does that mean the whole he took team? Out his rebel. He took out his right rebel. <gasps> Does that mean the whole team is oh cheating if he's God. doing that? Let's see what happens when I when I come over. Oh my fucking god! This guy takes a few pop oh. shots at me, and I let the cheaters take care of him. Wait, the cheaters are. Oh my god! It's a, they're a, it's actually fucking Hydra. This is amazing. It's a secret fucking society. Let's scav up there, Rat looking family. up. Voice changer. Oh, that's yeah, dude. Up on the hill. He's he lit. Unless one of you shot at me, I don't think oh you did. Oh my god. No, no, we were shooting at that scab up there. If that's him. Oh or yeah, yeah, for sure. The barbed wire. Just a bit there, you know. Yeah. I'll be careful. You need anything? Nah, man, I'm good. And you <laughs> know him saying he's just a Blair player, you know? And it's like, yeah, bro, I know. Oh, I know what it is. Holy fuck, it's so good. That was very difficult. And the best thing is, like, he knows, he knows that he knows, the other guy knows, and he also knows that the other guy knows that he knows. So it's like, yeah. Figure out that those guys were hacked. Yeah, yeah they're yeah. aware. He took out his red rebel the second I took out my map. Yep, yep. That whole team. 100% cheating. That whole team. That whole team. Sometimes I would just yeah. antagonize a cheater with the wiggle to get them to rage hack on me, and it works. He's just running directly at him. I know this guy's getting so annoyed. Uh-oh. Because that's the thing. He's fucking pissed because he knows that you're cheating. 19.2 KDA. Well, it's just like the other guy. It's just a better player. I mean, that's all it is to it. Yeah, it's just another better player. Getting so annoyed. He's trying to avoid me. Because he's like, how's he going to report that guy with you, cheating, buddy? You know? Hello there, sir. Hello there, sir. He's trying to shoot him Whoa. and tell him to leave him alone. He's like, bro, we're on the same team. Same team, man. Come on, same team. He just deleted that level 52. I wonder how All that right. happened. Damn, yeah. bro, this guy is not playing around. Hey there, bro. Just another better. <laughs> wow. Wait, he just hacked and killed them. In groups. Oh my! Their KDs are extremely Look high. Look at that, ten point seven nine, dude. This is better than pro players. What the hey, fuck? One percent. Just a better player. Yep. And after this guy gets this insane nade kill. I sneak up on their position. Mm -hmm. It should be noted that I am not overweight, and I make sure to silent crouch walk, not hitting bushes, etc. It makes no sense that he would lock onto my position here. He sidesteps left and right, and I track him to show them that I'm watching. Well, I bet he won't he shoot him. He knows I have ESP, and he doesn't like it. I bet he won't shoot him. What are you going to do? Bro, we're on the Show same me your team. Hand. Man, what are you doing, man? We're on the same His team. His buddy's moving in to help him out. They assume I'm going to just, like, aim bottom, I bet. He must have the Grenadier task or something, because he's looking for nades to throw at me. And before I make any noise, they just start talking. Hello, hello. 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 I'm like, I have a starting pistol out. <laughs> like, hey, what's up, man? Yo. Hey, welcome to the fucking party. This is fun, isn't it? 
How do you do, fellow cheaters? I don't have any ammo. You got <laughs> Whoa. I set my sights on this very high KD I guess player. Not. He had just dropped somebody. I approach carefully. He notices I'm getting close, and look how precise his lock is on the radar. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Damn, bro. Sometimes I'd run into a cheater on the that way. That guy's not playing games, bro. Guys, he's in it to win it. Peter, he snaps some Chris like Kyle shit. Uh oh. Just barely got out of that. He closes the door and the wiggle. It, it surprises me every time. And once I developed the strategy and started investigating oh more people God. in every single raid, Hail Hydra. The cheaters were everywhere. The KD of two is good, but it's it's not that good. This has got to be so annoying from their perspective. They don't want to react, but they have to. Yeah. I keep pestering with the wiggle. They know I cheat. They know I have ESP now. If you're not familiar with how Escape from Tarkov works, you don't make sound when you silent crouch walk underweight like this. This is the most lawyer reaction a cheater can have. It's like he's saying, I know, but I'm not gonna let it be known that I know. There's literally no reason for him to be standing over here looking at my exact angle. Jesus Christ, it's just, it's so obvious. Oh my God. Yeah, there's wizards everywhere, covert wizards. This is nuts, yeah. I hadn't made any noise. This weird standoff continued for a while. All right, man, well, good luck. I try to leave and he sort of holds me up. I gotta give the guy credit though. He's being a lot more subtle than, than most people in this video. Right. Yeah, you don't want to give away your cover. I was expecting to die right here, but maybe he's like me and he just has ESP and no aimbot. Hail Hydra. I had no idea what this guy was gonna do next. Whoa, bro. Hey man, I'm, I'm backing off, bro. Have a knife. What's up? I have a knife, but you already know that. Wait, hey, yo, this guy's got TTV in his fucking name. Oh, my God. Look at this. He's got TTV. Who does? And who are you fooling with the fake TTV name? All right, cool. All right, cool. Listen, dude, I I'm not trying to, like, fuck with you. I just was saying hi. Just doing the wiggle, you know? If you're saying anything, I can't hear you. I just, just letting you know. Is your, is your buddy cool? Whoa, 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 whoa. We're cool, we're cool. You want me to yeah, leave or hang out? Leave, man. Okay, yeah. all right, cool. Yeah, because, like, they don't know what to do. Like, they probably never had somebody figure them out like this. And it's like, is this a dev? Is it a GM? Like, am I getting, like, fucking recorded? Like, what's happening? I've been pestering this guy for about three minutes. Slowly creeping up. Oh my god. And I finally pushed him to his limit. Is he gonna do it? And don't forget about Radar, just look at how locked on he is. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Okay, bud. I'd already gotten these yeah, guys yeah. to wiggle, but I wasn't recording. You gotta give me a break though, man. I've had uh -huh. a bad cold. I cannot believe I wasn't recording. Oh no. I'm usually good mm -hmm. about it, but I went to go get a drink while I was loading in and I usually hit the recording. Messed up your flow. Hey guys, what's up? Oh, dude, I, I'm I'm friendly. I'm friendly. You got it, no, bro. We on same t same team, bro. Same team. Me, you, we on the same team. We doing the same thing. Same team. Uh huh. Yep. We boys. I respect the wiggle, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, man. <laughs> what you got going on, man? Why are you just hanging out with a knife? And I wonder how they know I have my knife out. <laughs> just a better player. You know what I mean? Missing this much. Because they're not good at the game. That's why they have the download cheats. Yeah, just come around to the garage. I feel like you're going to kill me. You're not in a position KD to, to negotiate, five? my man. Sounds uh, like you're not doing so right, good. And this doesn't break the rule, but this is the closest <laughs> thing I did to killing a player. Sounds like you don't have much time, brother. Uh, no, I don't. You better hurry. <laughs> I bet you feel really good. No, come over here. And I'll give you heals, but you're the one that's not coming over here. I'm not even the one that shot at you. 
<laughs> what a fucking idiot. I felt bad for this guy, but I needed to stay undercover. You gotta get in here, brother. Oh my god, his health is... <laughs> he's not gonna make it. Come on in, come on in, come on in. Wait, he's just... Wait, he's, he's having him run before. away and mm -hmm. then he's gonna die, isn't he? What's his health at? Four. Three. Get over here, get over here. <laughs> get the cover, get the cover. He's just right, hiding I'm on the ground for you. <laughs> <laughs> See that? <laughs> I was watching his health tick down and so I was come like, here, he's man. not going to be so funny. <laughs> See, I've earned these guys' trust, you yeah. know? This shit is funny. Listen, I should play the game. This Cav, and he could have just popped fuck. me right there. Mm -hmm. Most hackers won't wiggle back, but it doesn't matter. The wiggle still works. Yeah. They know I have ESP. Oh my god. Don't forget to check the radar in the bottom right during this interaction. Uh-huh. For well, the VOIP, VOIP can be awesome. This is amazing. I love this. Even though I have my knife out, he's worried about me. Uh-oh. He's tracking me this whole way around. Uh-oh. When you're playing against normal players, Bro, they look don't at him. He is locked like in. The radar. He's aiming right at him. Up until this point, you could argue some of this could just be chance. Oh, Maybe yeah. Maybe he thought he saw something at my location, and he's watching like a hawk. But it's starting to become very obvious. And I want to seal the deal on in this interaction. Are you back, Travis? This guy's 100% cheating. He won't wiggle at me when he's doing everything. <laughs> Just basically tracked me in a big circle. <laughs> like he's turning back looking directly at me. Look at this. Yeah. That's my friend Travis. He was watching me record some of these raids live. He's been in several of my shorts. So he's looking directly at him. get him to rage on me. He just pop me in the head like he's going to pop me in the head the second. The second I show anything. You ready? <laughs> <laughs> Called it. <laughs> Let's watch this back in slow motion. He shot me through the bush without an actual sight line. The server had a bit of lag and placed the death behind yep. solid cover. In this raid, I was tracking down a raid. Bro. It's just a better player. I mean, that's all there is to it. It's just a better player. Major. And in route to his position, he was dead. It turns out he got killed by a different mm -hmm. hacker. Well, that guy's got a 9 KDA. A legit player rolls through, and the cheater is holding an angle. Jeez, I wonder who's going to win this fight. The the 2 KD or this guy who's at 9? Oh, bro, now you see kill, just course. a better player. Hey. Let's see if he'll respond to the wiggle. He looks my way. Oh, oh yeah! Confirmation. Hail Hydra! I got my knife though. Peace, peace. <laughs> I'm just saying peace. Nice kill. I don't know why I told him nice kill. Yeah. 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 You got that guy with like, that guy earlier. What was his KD? Oh shit. I'm always trying to get them to verbally confirm that they're cheating. Huh? What was that other guy's? That guy was raging. The other guy, right? It was like fifteen, bro. Dude. Like 15, 15, 15. <laughs> yeah. Long time too, but I gotta lower it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's all good either way. It's always a cherry on top when you get the verbal confirmation of cheating. Yeah, he's he, like, he's got a. The thing is, the reason why he's got to lower it is so it doesn't look as, uh, you know, as suspicious. Admitted to knowing the KD of the guy he killed. There's a single bot follower scav still alive. That means a rare boss spawned on the map, and there's only one guard left. You ever wonder why it's so hard to get boss kills sometimes? The cheaters will get to them first, and they don't want you near it. Oh, this, this guy's Whoa, raging. Jesus bro, Christ, that guy around. is raging. He out for, he out for boy. Really seals the oh, deal yeah. on this clip. Check this out. There's a tree between us. 15. 14.80 or 96. That's 96. Nuclear cowboy. This kind of works out. <laughs> oh. oh, that might go all you the way up to You can't argue with the wiggle. It's the closest thing to 100% confirmation. And I got better at identifying the cheaters. Oh, yeah. I would sometimes find them in back-to-back -back raids. One night, I ran into cheaters five raids in a row. Uh -huh. I would love to share some stats with you. In my 125 raids, I never ran into a fly hacker. I had zero and, raids. And also, like, keep in mind, you're not going to have... You're going to have people that are playing with cheats but don't show it. 
So like him saying that he ran into that many people, that is the absolute minimum. It's with the stinky leg invincibility hack. I never ran into anyone speed hacking, and it was actually quite rare that I got aimbot or rage hacked. There were obvious cheaters in about 60 Yeah, exactly. Like most people that cheat in these games don't cheat as in I'm invincible, I have aimbot, and I can see where everybody is on the map, and that's it. Usually they use one thing that increases their awareness in one way or another, and then that's it. Percent of my raids, the best predictor that a cheater would be in your raid is one simple thing. The number of people in the lobby. If a lobby had more people or was near full, it is almost guaranteed that a cheater is in your raid. Jesus. Sometimes players would just avoid me and I couldn't really test them. I only reached level 13, so it's not like I was able to outrun and catch up to anybody who really wanted to uh, evade me. The time of day matters. At uh, nighttime, I encountered more cheaters than right. early morning or work, midday. It's reasonable to farming. assume that I missed many closet ESPers. I was only oh, able yeah. to investigate a handful of people in every single raid. Uh, often I would die to a PMC or a sniper scab would give me away or something. And then there's also people that might be using the uh, an aim bot, but they're not using a... Let's go back. Uh, I don't know what that was. Here we go. Time I encountered more cheaters than early morning or midday. It's reasonable to assume that I missed many closet ES peers. Oh, no I doubt. I was only able to investigate a handful of people in every single raid. Mm -hmm. uh, often I would die to a PMC or a sniper scab would give me away or something would happen that would prevent me from investigating more people in the raid. So while I would try to get around and check out as many people as I could, it's just impossible. Even though I literally confirmed 60% of my raids had a cheater in them, the actual number has to be higher. There's a well, yeah, of course. Yeah, this is what I was saying is like a hundred fucking percent the 60% number is the most conservative possible. A lot more than I'd like to cover in this video. All of the various discoveries I made about how cheaters act, some of the sussy interactions that I couldn't 100% validate as a cheater, including someone who was streaming live, and much more, such as Jesus. the difficulty of getting past the stream proof feature of the ESP. Mm -hmm. Very difficult to actually record the footage. And what's the actual solution to the problem? And why is it so bad recently? And I'd love to do a follow-up answering all these questions. Well, well, the reason why is because Tarkov is getting more popular, and the more popular a game gets, the more people want to cheat in it, because the more being good at the game matters. It's literally that simple. That's the way every game goes. The more people play it, the more people cheat. That's just how it is. Because being good at Tarkov means that you can make money on Twitch. So, like, if you say you have a 15 KD, people are going to want to watch you because they're like, wow, that's super good. And then you just play normally, and then you go back and you cheat off stream to keep the number up. I was responding to the comments and the feedback that I'm Pretty inevitably simple. going to get. I'm going to end this video with an interview. I hope you enjoy. This is Luke. You may know him as the co-founder of Linus Media Group and the current COO of Floatplane Media and he's an avid Tarkov player. And I showed him most of these clips before the release of this video. There was this gasp of just, oh my God. This happened to me when when I came across the first- Oh, you, you, I, I, we'll, we'll leave the interview. I'll just, wa I just wanted to watch the actual, uh, the, the gameplay. You guys can watch this yourselves. I'll link you guys the video. But look guys, the cheating in this is just like, I, I mean, every FPS has this shit. Like, whether it's Apex, PUBG, uh, Valorant, etc. It's only a matter of how much and how much the developers are doing to stop it. Like, for Counter-Strike, isn't it so bad that people are using Faceit? They have to download this special app just so they can be able to play the game without any fucking cheaters? Mm-hmm. It's crazy, man. Great video? First yeah, cheater. it is. It happened like for FPS. This is why cheating is so corrosive for FPS, because before there's a cheating scandal in the game, there's always the there's never the question of was somebody cheating. But after you know that cheating is rampant in the game, every time you get killed by a better player, you ask yourself the question, were they cheating? So it completely devalues the entire progression of the game of seeing a better player, playing against a better player, and then wanting to get on that level. Like if you've ever been killed on somebody by somebody and then you're just like, what the fuck, that guy is so good. But whenever you're playing games that have cheating scandals, you never think that. All you think is, man, what the fuck, that guy's cheating. 
And that's what happens with these games that have cheaters in them. And that's why it's so bad. Uh, I am very much a, uh, uh, like, not an advocate of, like, very, very hard, like, uh, you know, anti-cheat stuff and, and things like that. Because it's just awful. Like, it ruins the entire game. It makes it to where every single time you lose, you always have that question in the back of your mind, is this legit or not? And the answer, for a lot of regards, is no. I played PUBG, and I quit the game. Because it was just like, you, you would play against some guy with like a Chinese name, and he would aimbot you through a tree. And then on top of that, they, they had massive lag. Fuck this. I don't want to do this. This is awful. It's not fun at all. So yeah, I'm not a cheating enjoyer. Yeah. No, I'm going to play uh, I'm going to play Tarkov at some point. I don't know when it's going to happen, but I do want to try the game out and see what it's like. Uh, I, I have some friends that play the game, and uh, eventually one day that will happen. Uh, I'll have to say it's probably like number seven or eight on my list of games right now, but uh, you know, it will happen eventually. What if it gets a gotcha system? Oh, then I'll play it immediately. Well, anyway, this this video is fucking phenomenal. Like this is uh, fucking so good. I will. I cannot wait to watch his uh, his follow up video about why exactly cheating happens. Yeah, it's so fucking bad. No, I'm not surprised at all. Uh, when are you uh, when are you playing Undertale? Uh, I don't know. Probably like. I'm trying to think when that would even be. Maybe in like a couple of weeks or so? Let me see here. SQC needs you? Okay, I get it now. Yeah, because he just DM'd me on Discord. And I'm like, wait, how the fuck do you guys... Am I, am I leaking my Discord? Okay, he must have said so. Uh... Yeah. Okay, let's see here. Um, what is this? What part of the MSQ am I at in Final Fantasy? I'm like halfway through Stormblood. Okay. All right, yeah. I'll probably, uh, maybe I'll try Destiny. I mean, I don't know. There's like a new raid that comes out. I might try it out. I, I've wanted to for like kind of just, I, I've wanted to play a lot of games, a lot of new games, right? Just to try it out, see what it's like. That's it. I just want to see what these new games are like because I feel like the more games I play, the more games I will like understand and the more I will understand about games. It's been like a big thing for me to try and start doing this stuff. Yeah, did you play Boo Protocol yesterday? Yes, I did. I absolutely fucking did. Uh, the Pale Beyond is really good. I need to play that one too. Like, there's so many games for me to play, man. It's great. Finish Witcher, goddammit. I'm trying to finish the Elden Ring uh, randomizer thing. That's been my main focus recently. But yeah, this video is fucking great. Yeah, have you played slots? No, I, I never have. Uh, I, I mean, I see a lot of people playing poker nowadays. I'd be okay with playing poker or something like that. That's fine. But I have no fucking way am I going to play against something that's programmed for me to lose against. Uh-uh. No shot. I know how these numbers work. Absolutely. Absolutely.